Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about equal question three one zero minimum height trees. For an undirected graph with tree characteristics, we can choose any node as a root. The result graph is then a rooted tree. Among all possible rooted trees, those with minimum height are called minimum height trees. Given such a graph, write a function to find all the MHTs and return a list of their root labels. So, for example, if I give you this. And equal to four, and this is the edge list. Then nodes should be zero, one, two, three, and then according to this edge list, we'll have this graph. Then result should be one because if one is the root, and then the height for this tree should be one, which is a minimum. So when we look at this question, and then uh, you the order in order to approach this question, we can think about the easiest case first. What if we only have a path? Let's say I have zero, one, two, three, four. I should return two, right? So I should find the middle of this path, and then just return this node, and then send for like the tree with evenness. But in this case, we should return two and three because both of them can give us a tree with height. Uh, one, two, three, three. I think. Yeah. So even if this is a graph, like it's a tree, we can still approach the problem the same way. But instead of looking at like two end of a path. What we're gonna look at is the leaf of this tree. Each time we're gonna remove one the all the leaf for this tree, and then it will produce like new leaves. We will keep deducting the node until the remaining load node have either one entry or two entries. Okay, so now let's try to code this question. So what I do is I'm gonna initialize array for recording each degree of the node, and then we're gonna get a list of integer. Let's call it as leaf. Think the list. Right. Okay. So. Just dealing with edge case first. So if n equal to one, what we're gonna do is that we just add zero. There's only one node which called zero inside this graph, and then we just return it. Then we need to find a better, like more efficient way to store the graph. So integer. Comma, hash set. So for each integers, it means that this node, let's say node zero, will have like labels one. So zero will be the key. One will be inside this hash set of integers. Equal to new hash map. For I just dot length I plus plus int a equal to edges i comma zero int b equal to edges i one right and then if map does not contains key of a what we're gonna do is like We'll initialize a hash set of integer. Then set dot add b. And then we'll do map dot put a comma set. So in this case, like we never see a before, so we initialize a hash set for it. Otherwise, we should just get the hash set from the map. Add B inside. Put it back. Sorry. 
a comma set. It is same for B, so I'll just copy paste this. So if it doesn't contain B, I'll just add A inside. It says B set, and then we'll just get B and then add A and then B comma set because the graph is undirected, so we need to store it for both edges, right? Then after this, we know that a uh, degree of A should increase and degree of B should increase too, because we find one edge between them. Okay, so then we look through all the entries in this This degree node, a degree array. If degree of i equal to one, we know it's a leaf. We should just add it to our leaf list. So that's the beginning. Okay. So right now, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna loop through all the like the map to see like how many nodes do it left just for convenience i will initialize an integer that's called new leaf you will see what is it for in a second so while the thing we left is greater than two first we'll do we're gonna like deduct the size of the leaf and then I'll just keep track of this and then for all of these elements in this leaf list what we're gonna do is I I know the current integer should be leaf dot remove zero so the first element for leaf and then i will check degree of this current node should set it to equal to zero because i remove it from our node then i initialize a set called hash uh, a hash set for neighbors to get all this nodes neighbor and then for every single neighbor of it. Common. Okay. I neighbors, right? First, we're we'll gonna do degree minus minus because we remove its neighbor. And then we'll get the neighbor and then remove this current node from it. So after we do the housekeeping, we'll check the new degree if it's equal to one. We'll add this to our new leaf. Dot add and the i. Then after this, what we're gonna do is add new leaf, leaf equal to new leaf. New leaf equal to new link list. Then finally return this link list leaf. Yay, we did it. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe.